Hello everybody, this is Orestes, and it's been a while since the last tutorial. And boy, has it been an eventful 2020. I hope you and your families and your loved ones are safe, and that uh, you can take your mind off of things for a little bit, while hopefully learning something useful. So let's jump right into it. Now in the previous video, I made this about Mixamo Control Rig, it seemed to have a good reception, which I'm very happy about, but I also had a bunch of questions, which I tried to answer in the, in the comments about the issues that people have, but I think it will be way more efficient, and I've been meaning to make this for a while, to gather everything into one video, you know, how to avoid most of the issues you're going to have, and, um, you know, how to fix them. Now, I don't want this to be a very long video, so I'm going to split it into two parts, in the first part, we're going to see what the issues are and how to fix the most common issues. In the second part, we're going to see how to fix a more difficult issue. So, um, here in Mixamo, basically this service allows you to upload a model, you know, auto-rig it with a Mixamo skeleton and then apply one of these extensive libraries, uh, animations from this extensive library. Um, and the Mixamo control rig is designed to work with that. However, Mixamo also offer a small library of characters, and these characters are using a different style of skeleton. And Mixamo control rig will not work very well with uh, with these skeletons. And uh, this is where ninety five percent of your problems will come from if you use one of these characters, right? So you should know beforehand that. The control rig is not really designed for that uh, in order to save yourself most of the travel. That being said, you know, uh, this is what we're going to tackle in the second video. We're going to see ways of actually using these characters with a Mixum control rig if you really need to do that. But it's not going to be as easy as using it with the uh, auto rigger. So let's see what the differences are. So this skeleton is made with the auto rigger and we can see all of these bones are nicely aligned along the y-axis. And yeah, so as we saw in the previous years, it's been a long time, previous years video, make some control rig seems to work fine with that. However, if I bring one of these characters, um, the first thing we will notice is that this is no longer aligned along the y-axis. You see all of these bones are not aligned at all. In fact, we can visualize it pretty cleanly if we um, set this to axis mode. We can see all of these joints are just point upwards. You know, they are not aligned at all. So let's try to rig this and see what happens. Um, so let's make a mix some control rig and build it. And we go to the adjust phase and it doesn't do anything because most of these joints are not even aligned, uh, named as uh, the system expects. And, you know, you can work with that, but... Uh, so let's take a look at our normal rig. It says Mixamo rig at the beginning, you know, and that makes it very easy for the system to find it. However, the other one doesn't say that, right? So let's fix that by uh, naming a prefix here, Mixamo rig. And the colon. All right, so we build that. Let's try this again. Go to the adjust. Now it's auto adjusted. It found the joints. But if we go to animate and we do our weight transfer, we drag the mesh here, do the transfer of weights, and we bend this, we see it's not bending properly, right? So this is because of the axis issue that we discussed. And you're going to have more issues than that when using one of these files. So there are like a number of issues you're going to have. Um, therefore, yeah, uh, let's take a look at some forums. So this is CG Society. This is uh, Cinema 4D forums of the CG Society. There are people who had this problem. And let's take a look at this reply over here because this reply is by 
Brett, and Brett is the creator of the Mixamo control rig. So Brett says here that when Mixamo first started, it used world alignment for the joints, but down the road they switched to wide down alignment for the joints. And Mixamo rig will not probably retarget those. So he suggests as the easiest solution to basically um, delete everything. So we get, we delete all of these joints except for the model, export this into an OBJ, upload it to mix someone and have the auto rigger rig it, and then you will get a proper skeleton. However, the auto rigger is not gonna do such great job weighting all of these accessories and stuff. So this is not a perfect solution, it's just the easiest solution, you know? And Brett also mentions, you know, if you want like an instant solution, you can do that. Um, all right, so there are ways to fix it, but let's, let's save this for the other video. In this one, let's uh, go back to our autorigger uh, cases. There are still some problems you might have. So let's bring this model here, which is done with the autorigger. Now, uh, we see everything is working, it has the proper names, the joints are nicely aligned. So let's try to rig it with the Mixamo rig. Reset the bind pose and make a Mixamo control rig here. So we click adjust, it auto adjusts. We go to animate. Uh, I'm gonna lock the attribute manager and bring all of these meshes, transfer the weights. By the way, you can see, you know, what's going on if you check the console here. So if I click retarget, you get some kind of feedback inside the console about what it's doing for your information. And by the way, you can, you know, this prefix that we, we said, you can actually uh, change it if you want to, but, you know, by default, it expects this kind of prefix. All right, so we did our work. Let's check out the animation. Click and, you know, we get the the movie contact once again. Now this time is not because the joints are not aligned properly. It's another issue. Um, let's revert back to save and see what's happening in this case. So this has to do with how the auto rigger works of Mixamo and with how the IK works in cinema. Let's take a look from the side here and go back to the bind pose. Now it seems that the auto rigger will just project the joints inside the middle of the mesh. And this can sometimes end up, so if we select the joints here on the, on the leg, let's say, they slightly bend backwards, you know, the, the knee sli slightly bends backwards. And when the, we put the IK in there, the IK thinks, okay, this is the direction I should be bending. So it's gonna keep bending that way. But there is an easy fix for that. So let's try to rebuild our Mixum rig. So let's build our rig and go to the adjust. And we see this annotation here, knees should bend forward. What that means is that uh, if it's not bending the right way, then we can hold seven to move a parent without moving the children and take this node and just drag it forward a little bit. So now you can see it has a slight bend forward. So this tells the IK the direction it should be bending. And that's all you have to do to fix this problem. So go to animate and we're gonna do our weight transfer. So let's bring our meshes here, transfer the weights retarget, and now when I play the animation, everything works as expected. And we can see this is working fine. All right, so that's all for this video. In the next video, we can see a workflow about uh, converting these Mixamo characters to, um, to a proper joint alignment. So we're gonna see how we can go from from this, which, um, so let's basically, let's go back to our bind pose here. 
So we can see how we can go from these joints to these joints, which are properly aligned. And then you can apply a mixomorig on this version of the character. So I hope you found this useful and see you next time.